Hey Seahawks and happy Valentine's Day. Welcome back to another episode of Seahawks Central News. We've got a great show for you today with a look at some coffee shops you might be interested in getting your study grind on this semester. As well as looking at the closure of a business that put on many events for UNCW students over the years, as well as the wider Wilmington community. But first, we're sharing some info on new student housing projects and more construction projects you might see here in the future. I'm Patrick Hogan. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle. Sit down and stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. Kicking off the show today, the university broke ground on a new student housing project on campus. In place of the on-campus apartments, which were torn down earlier this semester, the university will be erecting four new residence halls. By the fall of 2020, two of the buildings will be finished and ready to accept new students, and the other two being finished by the fall of 2021. These buildings were designed by the same people that created the Seahawk Landing and Village Apartments on campus. They are expected to be able to house over 1,800 students by the end of the project. The apartments were demolished ahead of schedule following the devastation many of the apartments endured during Hurricane Florence, leaving many of them in an unlivable condition. Along with these new residence halls, the Board of Trustees for the University recently approved the location of a new dining hall facility right next door to these new residence halls. The dining hall will be situated between these new living spaces and the Student Rec Center right across from the retention pond near Chancellor's Walk. Along with this, the Board of Trustees approved the design for a new parking deck on campus. This will hopefully alleviate some of the parking complaints that many students here have been voicing following Hurricane Florence. That's right, Patrick. And while these projects are still far in the future, the university still has some projects we might be able to see by the end of the year. New class trailers have been approved to be placed in the parking lot across from Dobo Hall, which will house classrooms for labs and other classes offered by the university. Many of the science departments have been unable to offer classes for students here without the equipment and class space needed for labs. Hopefully this is a quick solution that will help students keep enrolled in UNCW classes, simplifying their needs for graduation and providing a better education with students not being required to take lab online classes through the North Carolina and other universities. Moving away from these pieces of campus news, the popular skate destination Jelly Beans is set to close at the end of the month on February 25th. Located on Oleander Drive, the skate rink has operated there for the last nine years. As reported by the Jelly Beans website, the owner has plans to renovate the building and use it for other purposes. The skate rink has hosted birthday parties and skate lessons since its opening, and these are still available offerings until it closes. Monday's Cheap Skate Night is a popular time for college students to skate between 7 and 9 p.m. when admission is $3.50. When the closure of Jelly Beans, that leaves one roller rink left in Wilmington. Scooter's Skating Center, located on Shipyard Boulevard, has been operating for almost 60 years. Discount nights for scooters are on Sunday afternoons. This past weekend, Till TV started production on their newest project called Space Garden, and we got behind the scenes looks at their first day on set. This is a short mini series that will be online later in 2019. Many UNCW film study students have hoped to be on board, and the team will be working through the rest of February and March to finish shooting. After a few years of the special film projects not quite panning out, this will be the last year for a while where Till TV will be sponsoring a student production, instead dedicating their resources to bring Hawkstream, a student podcasting station, back from the dead. Hannah Creech is here in studio to fill us in on the new coffee shop that just opened up down the street. Hannah, what's the scoop? Yeah, Sydney, if you're looking for a switch up from the usual Starbucks, Dunkin' or PCJ, a new coffee shop has opened on Wrightsville Avenue called Social Coffee and Supply Company. This independent craft coffee and tea shop had its grand opening on February 9th and is now open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. They are currently supporting the nonprofit Global Education Ministries, and for every hot coffee sold, 10 cents is donated to help further the education system in Mexico. In the future, they hope to partner with many nonprofits in Wilmington to give back to the local community. Sydney? Thanks, Hannah. This isn't the only coffee-related news we have this week because Isabella Pleasance is here in the studio to tell us about a student favorite coffee shop that reopened recently following Hurricane Florence. Isabella? Thanks, Sydney. As most of us here at UNCW know, Grinders Cafe was a popular place for students to study or just hang out. Sadly, it was one of the local businesses around Wilmington that was most impacted by Hurricane Florence. The cafe's previous location on Wrightsville Avenue suffered significant damages, and that location has been out of commission ever since. But things have changed. They have just reopened a new location on South Kerr Avenue. Already packed with students once again, the staff has been referring to the new location as G2, and they say they are, quote, so excited to be back and better than ever, end quote. While it's not as close to campus as it used to be, if you miss your Grinders experience, you can find their hours online. 
Back to you guys. Well, that's it for us. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to UNCW Teal TV on your favorite social media platform. If you have story suggestions or just want to talk about the show today, drop us a comment. For Seahawks Central News, I'm Patrick Hogan. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.